7.3 p hat p with a little triangle above it means that it's an estimate for a proportion a proportion is how many out of a total so you'll have your number of successes divided by the total okay to find a minimum sample size needed for a confidence interval for a proportion it depends on whether or not you have a previous estimate or you do not so n is the number in the sa sample size z over m z is the value that corresponds to a given confidence interval m is the margin of error and p hat is the previous estimate okay so example find the minimum sample size needed for a 95% confidence interval with a margin of error of 0.1, a previous estimate of 0.32. First, we're going to use SALT to find the Z that goes with this. Okay, so you can just pull up any click any use salt okay we want the normal distribution we're on distribution calculators we want between we're trying to find the z value so we're going to delete what's beside x and 95 percent is 0.95 okay and that gives us 1.96 on a confidence interval, you automatically do a plus minus, so you can just use the positive side for that. Okay. All right, so we get 1.96 for Z, 0.1 for our error, 0.32 for our mark for our previous estimate, and plug in 1 minus 0.32. Okay, we always do what's inside a parentheses first. So we're going to do 1.96 divided by 0.1 is 19.6. 1 minus 0.32 is 0.68. Then we do exponents next. So we need to do 19.6 times 19.6 is 384.16. And then we can finish out our multiply. We always round up, always round up because we need to be more confident, not less confident. Okay, now what if we do not have a previous estimate? We use the same formula, but we use P for our proportion because that's the most conservative estimate, meaning just think about like a binomial if you flip a coin, it's 50-50. So we just use a 50% chance if we don't have a previous estimate because that's the most conservative. What does that mean? That gives us the biggest value. The biggest value that we could have for n is using 0.5 for p because that makes these numbers the biggest. Okay, so we do the same thing. We divide, we square that 19.6, we do that 1 minus 0.5 in the parentheses and multiply, okay? Now remember, we round up no matter what. So 96.04 goes to 97. If we rounded down, we would not be 95% confident. We would maybe be 94%. Okay, find a confidence interval for P. Okay, we're gonna use our tool our analysis tool so salt okay we want inferential statistics we want one sample proportion here one sample proportion okay this one said that there were 7441 out of 10613 so you put your number of successes your number of trials you change this to confidence interval and generate results. Okay, so there you have a lower limit and your upper limit. And it also gives you your estimate for P. Okay, so this was 
looking at the number of people that escaped prison and were recaptured. Okay, so NP has to be bigger than five and NQ has to be bigger than five. So Q is always one minus P. P is the 7441 over 10613. So those are definitely bigger than five. So our conditions have been met. And we just saw how to use the analysis tool to generate our proportion confidence interval. And that is the section.